Society. We live in one. Have you ever wondered what the peak, the pinnacle, the most advanced human civilization would look like? Well, that's what this one guy did too, and today we're going to be talking about the Kardashev scale, this chart that a scientist made up for measuring how technologically advanced a society is. And honestly, I just thought it was really cool, like the idea of like a type 3 civilization, or even like a type 1 civilization is just mind-blowing to me, so I really wanted to make this video, so let's get into it. To start off with, technology has increased at such an unfathomable rate. The idea that like, back in 1903 the first real airplane was invented, and then only 60 years later we have people in space is just unreal. And now in 2023, with communication at an all time high, seemingly only getting more advanced, and with the internet and AI creating atrocities worldwide, basically it seems that we're advancing at a faster and faster rate. And there was a scientist who thought the same thing. His name was Nikolai Kardashev, a Soviet astronomer who believed that the best way to categorize or rank a society's advancement is to measure their energy consumption. And so that's what he did. It was honestly more of like an imagination exercise to think about how like a civilization would go and harness the energy that they need and then what that society would be like. But I mean, honestly, all the best scientists throughout history only had breakthroughs from imagining things like Isaac Newton with the apple or like how Einstein came up with his theory of relativity by imagining what it would be like to ride on a comet passing by Earth. Or wait, no, it was he imagined running next to a light beam, but you, you get the idea. Imagination equals important for science. So the Kardashev scale, according to Wikipedia, is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy it's able to use. So it's essentially a method of ranking a civilization based on their energy use. It mainly focuses on energy consumption at a cosmic scale, which is ranked on levels 1 through 3, but there's a few other power levels like 0, 4, and 5, but those are ranked other than pure power. They use like spaces beyond reality, which I'm not really going to focus on today. Today I'm focusing on 1 through 3. Type 1. A type 1 civilization, according to the Kardashev scale, is able to harness all the energy available on its planet that reaches there from its parent star and then store it for consumption. This is known as a planetary civilization. This is the closest level that is what Earth is presently, uh, but even now we're not a type 1, we're actually more like a type 0 0.7. There's actually a mathematical formula, which I'll place on the screen, but I'm not going to pretend like I know what it means. I don't really know how to do math, if I'm being honest. Anyways, a type 1 is usually defined as a society that can harness all the energy that reaches its home planet from its parent star without like going off planet and trying to harvest it from the sun itself. So if we could harness all the sunlight, all the waves, energy, the wind, the nuclear capabilities and such uh, that we have on Earth, then we would be ranked as a type 1 civilization. But it's predicted by a lot of scientists that we'll actually reach this point of a type 1 civilization in like 100 or 200 years, which honestly seems so unbelievable. It seems so soon that we could be that insanely powerful. Like if we had that power, we could all run Minecraft at ultra settings with no problems. No, what's cool about becoming a type 1 civilization is that we could theoretically use different like natural disasters to our advantage, like using tsunamis or tornadoes to produce energy and then using that energy to control the weather like we do partly at this point, we don't completely do it, allegedly. And then even being able to terraform the earth pretty well into whatever would suit us, uh, we'd be able to actually do things like build the line city that Saudi Arabia is allegedly going to do, but I mean, are they going to do that? Or even be capable of like living in extreme conditions like building a base in the deepest parts of the ocean. That would be really epic. There would probably be other problems in being advanced down there though. Type 2. A Type 2 civilization, also known as a stellar civilization, is defined as being able to harness the energy radiated by its own star by means of a structure like a Dyson Sphere. So a Dyson Sphere, for those of you that don't know, is a hypothetical megastructure that encompasses a star and captures the solar output of that star. This is still kind of part of the thought experiment theoretical side of it. It's just a concept that's obviously never been built yet. Yet. It's kind of like if we built like a Death Star, like a halo ring type thing around the sun. But a Dyson Sphere, as it was imagined by the scientist Freeman Dyson who came up with the idea, is not necessarily a hollow sphere around the star, but more of like a swarm of satellites that encircles the star, uh, sucking out its energy and taking it somewhere else. This structure would be capable of using and channeling the entire radiation output of the sun, so this civilization would be extremely powerful. Kardashev also theorized that these societies could get this powerful, you know, be like a type 2 civilization, 
by harvesting stars through a black hole. Essentially, the idea would be they would take a portion of the star, or like us, we would take a portion of our sun, and then feed it through a black hole, and then harvest the photons being emitted from that portion of the star that's being sucked through the black hole. I don't know, scientists think it would work, this is like a theory. I mean, we only have like one picture of a black hole, they don't really know exactly how it would work, but I mean, that, I mean, it sounds, it makes kind of sense when you think about it, when you don't think about it. So anyways, a type 2 civilization would be able to use all the energy of the sun, or of the other thing, not just the earth, but throughout the entire solar system, they'd be able to use all that energy wherever they were. With that type of power, we could terraform entire planets, uh, making something like Mars that's uninhabitable now, a livable place like Earth. So this society would definitely be an interplanetary one, with people probably living on the Dyson Sphere Death Star thing uh, to work on it, or scientists uh, living on a secret base on the moon that's definitely not there right now. Uh, traveling through the solar system would be very easy. We'd probably have an elevator to space, who knows. You could mine asteroids, destroy moons. The solar system would essentially become like a playground to a society with this kind of power. But what's also really interesting about a type 2 civilization is that scientists believe that we could become one in just a few thousand years, which seems also really insane in my opinion. So when you think about it, you're like, great times 24 grandkid could be out there blowing up moons with their own Death Stars at this point. <laughs> Epic. But I mean, when you think about the progression of society speeding up, it kind of makes sense that only a few thousand years after becoming a type 1 civilization, you could have something like controlling the entire sun, theoretically. Type 3. A type 3 civilization is also known as a galactic civilization. By definition, this civilization would be in possession of energy at the scale of its own galaxy. So this type could control all the energy output of the entire galaxy, not just their own solar system that it's in. This civilization would use pretty much the same techniques for harvesting energy uh, that a Type 2 civilization does. Like they'd have a Dyson Sphere, maybe suck some stars through black holes, harvesting that thing. But it would be applied to all the stars in the galaxy that they're in. They may also be able to tap into the energy that's being released from the supermassive black holes that are believed to be in the center of most galaxies. Theoretically, they're all there. We don't know for sure if they're all there, but like we, we think they are. Like we have that picture. So this type of civilization would have an ungodly amount of power. They'd be able to drain entire planets of their resources, construct other planets. Things like moons or planets would be up for sale in a society like this. It's really eerie to think about an entire solar system it might be like some guy's property on his asteroid ranch, his black hole star farm. And what's really crazy is people theorize that if this sort of civilization was actually out there and did exist, that it might not even be noticeable to the outside world or to the outside galaxies. Which brings us to the Great Void Theory. The idea of the Great Void Theory is that with this sort of power being contained, it would essentially look like there's a huge hole or absence in the stars where there shouldn't be when you look out into space. Because with all that energy being stored away, it might look like it's just gone. Which, this is just like the great void that we have, that we can see in our space, the Buotis Void is what it's called, uh, that we can actually observe from Earth. Which, this is an area in space where there should be 2,000 galaxies, but it appears that there's only 60. So, some people theorize that it's possible that if there was a Type 3 civilization out there, anywhere that we could look, we would see it and that would be it. A 300 million light year area across, hiding itself from the rest of us. But to me personally, if there was like a type 3 civilization out there, wouldn't it be in their best interest to hide in plain sight and not to suck all the energy away and look invisible? I don't know, this all goes over my head, so beyond my comprehension. And as far as Earth becoming a type 3 civilization, it's predicted to be like 100,000 to like a million years in the future, so don't get your hopes up of having your own planet just yet. Anyways, as society continues to advance into the future, it's fun to think about where we'd be in a few years or even a few hundred years. Will things like Dyson Spheres become a reality or will we be enslaved by a super advanced civilization? Seems like those are the only two options, so let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you like this really weird stuff like this, and don't forget to feed your black holes, otherwise they'll get hungry. Goodbye!